Good morning Flosstube, it's Lynette here in Brisbane. I've only got a small window of time to uh, video this this week and unfortunately the guy across the road's decided to do his lawns so we'll just have to go with it and hopefully it's not too bad. Um, first up let's start with my mania which was supposed to be bits and pieces of, of this. So I have been working down this side, uh, I'll show you where I'm at, I've been working in here. I am thinking though, because these are so big, that after I finish these two, I might start this big one here. We'll see how we go. This week I'm not going to have a lot of time for stitching. Uh, my family arrive this afternoon and they'll be here till the weekend, which will be lovely. Um, so here's where I've got to. Um, I've been working on this, it's, there's a page break here, that's why it stops here. Um, so, and this bit was from last year's Mania, and this one. So I'll do the Z, finish this, and then we might have a go at this big one here. So this is I Still Do by Ink Circles, and I'm stitching it on this grey 18 count um, Ada, one over one, in the reds that she has um, selected in her pattern. Then I walked a bit more on my little Dove Gnomeville stitch along. This is also an 18 count, one over one, with her selected um, DMC. I had fun working on this week. So I finished his house, it's very cool. I've got sh gnomes, still got a bit more writing here. Um, this is a toadstool, but I don't know what I've done with my DMC 321 red, which is supposed to be for these. I picked it up to come down here and I. I don't know what I've done with it because I can't work out what ad I've used it on and it's not in that I still do so I'm not sure what I've done with that. So this is Little Dove Designs, Stitch Long, Gnomeville, Gnomeville and she can be found on Etsy. And in a week or two I'll get round to sorting out putting notes in the drop down box but for now I'm just going with it. So the theme piece for Caroline and Robin's magazine monthly challenge is music and this is my piece for music um, and I'm working on block one up here and it's the carol I heard the bells on Christmas Day and I've done some more on this I'm actually really enjoying it this is um, where I've got to so I've started the peacock and then I've just got to finish the flowers around the other side and I think there's another crown there's two crowns to go in there still so this fabric I have to check out what it is. I know it's a Vigus Vigart, but um, I think it might be 28 count, and it's a, a dyed. I got it in the quilters shop um, that no longer no no longer sells needlework things. So that's that one, and I'm using the Crawford DMC. And that one. Speeding through the days, I don't have a lot of time. Um, so this next one is the Summer Home Fat Quarter Shop Mystery Stitch Along, which I'm really enjoying. Nice that the parts this time are not too big and you can fin finish them you know, reasonably in your week. So, um, so part three was this house uh, and it took me three hours. I actually timed it this week because Kimberly um, at the Fat Quarter Shop last week, she said she did this bit in an hour and I'm thinking, wow. I don't know, I'm, I'm a reasonably quick stitcher, but an hour was amazing. So I thought I'd time it this week and I haven't had a chance to catch up with whether she's filmed again and to see how long it took her to do this part. And that fabric is from a company here called Sew It All. I'm not sure whether it's a fabric flare, it may be. Uh, the original's done on a white board, but they didn't have that, they had this one and I think it's turning out okay. Uh, if I hadn't, if it wasn't a mystery, I might, might have relocated things slightly differently with these lines, but it's a mystery and I'm having fun with it. So then last week I showed you Spring Quaker by um, Lila Studio, which is this one. And so I just ordered two of the flosses for this that came in the mail yesterday. So one is for the alphabet and the other one is for these some of these Quakers. So I can, I can at least get started up here. And I have a piece of 40 count and this is actually calls for a 40 count. Um, 
mine won't be the same, but it's a, it's a similar colour. Uh, I haven't actually stitched on 40 count before, so I'm going to give it a go on this one and see how we go. This is still quite a big piece. It's 263 by 215 stitches, so it's, it's a reasonably big stitch. So you never know, next week I might get a start on that. So that's essentially my cross stitch for the week. Um, I also quilt and knit, and we have a lovely new quilt store that opened up five minutes away from me in October last year, so I've been going there for their stitching days. Um, and I'm my, you know, I'm called my um, Etsy store is called X Stitch and Hexagons because I also have a love affair with hexagons. And she had this new fabric in, and so I fussy cut little hexagons out of the fabric. So all these are out of the same piece of fabric. Um, but when you fussy cut, you actually select a piece a section of the design and move along until you get the same piece and you can get sort of interesting effects. So all out of the same print and then I've chosen this lacy border to go around them. So I've been having a bit of fun with that this week. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to end up with. But it was just for fun. And then I'm trying to sort of get a bit more organised for my Etsy shop and I was going through my filing cabinet looking for some stuff or for a particular piece and I came across this that I hadn't even I traced it on so I decided one of the stitching days at the shop I started stitching this so I think the idea is it's to be a three part Christmas um, I think three little pillows and what I will do is I will put my hexagons around them like this and then make them into a little pillow that this will be applied to a backing and a bit of trim around it and I think that'd be really sweet. So that's piece started. Um, then I've done joy. And each of them will have a different hexagon border, but you know, you could choose your own fabrics and that one you can't see. Um, let's see what I can do with this, make it a bit more. This is hope. So I would actually like to get these finished by next time I make a video. We will see how we go. And I've also done a bit of knitting, but we won't worry about that. Um, now, a while ago, oh, let me see if I can work out when, oh, at least back, back about 2016 maybe, uh, not quite sure how long ago. Anyway, I had this idea. I get one of these books and what I did is I, oops, there's a chart, but I've stuck in pictures. Uh, you see that one's actually been a finish. Here, um, and the idea was that I would stick pictures in as I go along. Here's my death by cross stitch. This is the first one in the book, and I'm a lot further down. I'm, I'm down here, uh, roughly, in this one, and I was going to stick progress pictures. And then my thought was that when I finished a piece, let's find when I finished. So this was my big shop afghan. This was the one that was uh, my mania a couple of years ago. We worked a bit on each of these houses or shops. But when I finished, I'd stick a finished piece, picture, and I'd cut the corner off. Can you see that? And you can just actually, you can see quite well there. See how there's these corners cut off? And so the idea was that when I finished everything in the book, all those corners would be cut off. Well, as you can see, since then, they're not all cut off. Um, oh, and up the back, I've got a few of my Heaven and Earth design pieces that I've bought but haven't started. So, um, they're up the back. Anyway, so recently I thought, well, all my whips are actually not in this book. So I went through and I sorted all my whips out by this, what was in this book. And then I got another book. And in here, 
I put all my new whips. And you can see from this, no finishes in here yet. <coughs> so I had to start a second book. And there's uh, 20 something in here. Uh, let me see what I can show you <coughs> something in here. Oh, there's Barbara Anna's 2020 cell, Santa's Trips. Um, oh, Anne Morrison, I started that one. <laughs> that was uh, 2020 as well. Uh, I've got his eyes on the sparrow. I've got the fox, which hasn't progressed anymore in the last two weeks. So this book, this book only goes up to where? Let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. So that section there is a whips. See, I've got lots of pages. I can do lots more whips. Anyway, that was just one way. And, and now I've started doing floss tube and listening to people. I'm trying to put more notes in there of fabrics and things that I'm not actually um, doing very well with otherwise. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's just a quick one this week. Um, next week, uh, not sure whether I'll get a, a, a day to film next week. I've got a few things on next week, so I thought I'd just jump in here and um, get a few things shown this week, um, at least to keep us on the track. And I forgot to say right at the very beginning, a huge thank you to Caroline Zook for her support of me and for um, mentioning me in her last last two videos actually so thank you very much Carolyn I very much appreciate it and I appreciate all those who have subscribed and watched my fledgling, fledgling channel you all have a great week bye